So you want to learn all about .NET MAUI and dependency injection? You've come to the right place, my friend. Come right through. So here we are in Visual Studio 2022. Um, this is a file new .NET MAUI application. At the time of recording, this is .NET MAUI Preview 9. Um, but I'm kind of sure that this won't change too much if um, .NET MAUI goes to GA, um, because this follows the same pattern as the ASP.NET dependency injection and the Microsoft extensions one. So um, you know we're trying to follow the same pattern with .NET MAUI as well. Um, so I think this is kind of final. Uh, maybe some other things that you're seeing here might change but the code I think should be uh, mostly the same. If it gets outdated, please let me know in the comments, ping me, and I'll be sure to make an updated video just for you. Um, but here, this is a file new .NET MAUI application. And when I run this, let's just run it, uh, the UWP application, or I should say the WinUI application, you will see the default template, hello MAUI, uh, so hello world, uh, welcome to .NET MAUI, uh, with a button and the .NET bot. So that's all good. Now, let me close this one because I'm going to change some code. Um, let's go over to our solution explorer right here to our MAUI program.cs, which is our entry point for um, our .NET MAUI application. And here you can see the generic host builder. I've talked about that in previous videos on .NET MAUI updates that when this got implemented. Um, and this again follows the same pattern as like your ASP.NET application, um, where you kind of like build the host, all the configuration, all the stuff that you can use from inside of your application. So here we are saying like, hey, use MAUI app, and we specify the class, the app class that it should use um, to um, um, bootstrap our .NET MAUI app, or we can say configure fonts. Or if we go in here, you can see there is configure effects or configure MAUI handlers or um, some other stuff in here as well. Um, so there is all kinds of things here. Um, let me remove this line here. And if we go down here now, if you don't know what dependency injection um, is, um, dependency injection, I got a video on that. Um, so you, it should pop up on your screen right now, or you can find the link down below in the video description. Um, I'm going to assume that you know the basics already. If you don't, please pause this video, go over to the other video, and I'll be waiting here for you to come back uh, for the rest. Um, but dependency injection is now something that is built inside of Don at Maui, no need for extra uh, plugins or libraries or whatever, um, you can just use it from right here, which is really cool. And it's built into this um, generic host builder. So if we now do um, builder, we also have services because they are registered as a service. And it is a iService collection, just like you would um, know from like the Microsoft extensions or uh, ASP.NET. I'm going to mention ASP.NET a lot during this video. Um, so, and here you can say dot add, but what is even cooler is that you can also use the scopes, right? So then we should add um, singleton. If we want to add a singleton here, we need to just bring in a extra using statement here so that it understands that this is in here because this is set up as an extension method. Uh, so I'm going to hover over it and click the little light bulb here for IntelliSense. And it's going to say actually using Microsoft extensions dependency injection. So that is built in is just using that. And now we can um, register our services as at singleton or at uh, a hosted service or logging or options or scoped or transient, all these options that you know from dependency injection and that you might already have been using. So this is also a little pro tip right here. If you are starting uh, or uh, anticipating on .NET MAUI, but you're still doing Xamarin Forms application or you're starting Xamarin Forms application right now, um, maybe you can use the Microsoft Extensions uh, dependency injection library um, right now with Xamarin Forms. And if you do that, it will make it easier for you to transfer to .NET MAUI by the time that you feel confident um, that it is the time to actually convert to .NET MAUI. So that's a little tip from my side right here. Um, now let's add this singleton here and I'm going to work now with the things that I already have. So I'm just going to say the main page because the main page is already something that is um, in our application in the default template. Um, so let me just do that. I'm going to register the main page. Um, let, let's actually just focus on that first. And I'm going to show you how to take it a step further even uh, right after that. So we've registered the main page now as a singleton. And what I can do then is go over to that actual app class right here. So let's find that in our solution explorer, our app.xaml. And actually, we have to go to our app.xaml.cs. 
Um, and whenever we go in here, you can see it does this new main page. Now, if you know a thing or two about dependency injection, you know that you shouldn't be doing new main page or new any object because that is something that you don't want. You want to resolve any, everything from your container. So what we can do now is just use this constructor injection right here and say main page um, page. And I can say not new main page, but I can say page right here. And because everything is wired up um, here in this Maui program with this host builder, because we are registering it right here and it says use Maui app, it will now automatically see, hey, do I have this main page in my container? Yes, I have. Let's inject it in the constructor in this app object right here. And it's going to set the main page to page whenever I set it to the right um, name here and not the object one. And it's going to inject it here and it's going to use that page. So whenever I run it now, um, you will see nothing has changed. Um, but the thing to note here is that it actually works. So I've registered my page in the dependency injection container. It will inject that into our app object and it will now resolve that automatically and show us our app while I remove the new main page um, call, right? So that's very cool. Now, again, let's, I said, let's take this a step further um, because now from here, because this is resolved this way, it will also kind of cascade or trickle down to all um, the, the other things that will be resolved here. So if we go into our main page, let's go over to our solution explorer, our main page uh, code behind, so our main page.xaml.cs. And here in my constructor for the main page, I'm going to say main page view model doesn't exist yet. So I'm going to have to create that. Um, and let's name this view model. And we can set the binding context. So we're going to work with a little bit of data binding here. Binding context is view model. You can see Visual Studio 2022 already knows what I'm doing. So just press tab to accept. And there it is, all my code. Um, so now it's going to wire up this binding context to my view model. And I can just use that. And I don't have to do new main page view model or whatever. It will just see it because it's registered in my dependency injection container. Well, it isn't just quite yet. So let's just do that right now. Um, first, let's create our main page view model. So I'm going to go over to my solution explorer again, right click on my project, um, add new class. I'm going to name that the main page view model add. Um, so now we should see a little class that's being generated. Let's make this public else it will start complaining. Um, and let's add a property here. So let's add public string message get um, here we go and let's make this what what should we make this maybe something maybe something specific to your favorite youtuber um so let's say maybe did you subscribe to gerald's youtube yet huh huh so maybe you should take a moment and do that right now. Um, so here we have just a simple arbitrary message, right? It's in a property, it's in our view model. This should be, if this is a real life app, it's probably going to be much, much more complicated than this. Um, but I'm just, I'm here to show you the dependency injection, not how to build your app. So um, let's go back to our Maui program. And now kind of like all I need to do here is duplicate this line and say main page view model. And it should register that. And I think, well, actually, let's should be able to show our message. So let's go over to our main page dot example. And instead of um, saying welcome to dot net multi platform app UI, we're going to say binding message because now we have this message in our view model. And I'm going to run this again. And then if everything goes right, you can see I didn't change anything else. I just injected that view model in our main page um, constructor and boom. Our message is here. Did you subscribe? To, oh, I got a typo right here. And to Gerald's YouTube yet. But you can see it works this way. So that's how easy it is to wire up the dependency injection from within a .NET MAUI application. Now, I already mentioned it a couple of times. This is very similar to other .NET solutions. So ASP.NET, maybe, I don't know if other solutions are using this, but um, um, it shouldn't matter if you're doing desktop development or web development or uh, mobile app development. We're trying to get that friction out of there for you so that it's easier for you to learn the stuff that is very specific to the platform. Because let's be honest, there is still a lot to learn if you're doing um, web. You need to learn CSS, HTML. Um, if you're doing 
uh, mobile app development, then you need to still learn something about how that behaves because there is always going to be something specific to the platform that you're deploying to. But the easier we can make it for you to onboard with like arbitrary stuff like dependency injection and whatnot, if we can take that away for you, um, then we're doing a good job, right? Then it will be the same for all applications and it will be easier for you to start and um, um, go make great speeds at um, uh, making wonderful apps. So that's kind of like the idea behind all of this. Um, now, I already created some content for dependency injection, so go check out the playlist for that on this channel. If there are any questions, of course, feel free to um, leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them or maybe make a video especially for you. Um, for the rest, please click that like button if you've actually liked this video because that will help spread this video to a wider audience and ultimately will then help me and this channel grow a little bit so I can continue to do this and bring you this wonderful, wonderful content. Also, be sure to check out the subscribe button if you didn't um, see my subtle hint earlier. And maybe you want to check out if that subscribe button is lit up so you will be notified of new content automatically and I will come to you so you don't have to come to me. Um, for the rest, keep coding.